Hey everyone, I just want to give just an update to my current situation. It took a few times for me to record this, so hopefully this is the last take for me to try to do it. I want to explain the entire situation. If you saw my other, did the other channel, whatever we did the update, I, I basically explained that my father was hospitalized and, you know, he had a, an infected pancreas. I believe it's called pancreatitis. It was heavily like a disease and infected a very, very strong pains he was feeling. Uh, unfortunately, he did the best that he could, and he passed away. I'm trying to find the last thing I told him that he was able to read. The last thing that I told him that he read today at 10 a.m. I told him, I love you so much. We love and care about you. We know you can make it through. And I always would message him, telling him that I love him every night, every morning. I always, every time he called, I tried to talk to him. I tried to be there for him. He was going through so much pain. He was so medicated. There were so many times where he wasn't the same person. I'm just happy he can find peace now and he's not in pain anymore. <sighs> you know, we also even planned, like back in March, me and him wanted to go to Japan together for a long trip, like Beyblade X, because we didn't go in so long because of COVID, all the restrictions, and, and then after the thing hit, and, and I... And we didn't even get to do it because I, I wanted to be with him. I wanted us to enjoy something finally like together after so long. And I know he was proud of me and he, and he taught me so much and I'm so thankful for him. And I know I was able to really make him proud because I graduated. He got my bachelor's and he told me how proud he was. And my mother told me how much he was crying and how happy he was. So I'm happy even on the last few months he, he was proud of me and... He, he knows that I love him. I love him so much. <sighs> part of also why, like, part part. I, I, I don't I, I don't mind to air this out or just to explain because I, I don't even know if we have a case or anything like that. But like, I I feel like the nurse is like we're, we're so negligent. On Thursday and Friday. He was like, you know, kind of a little bit stable, but still was kind of like this. He was kind of ups and downs. And his surgery was supposed to be last Thursday and they delayed it again. And then after they delayed it from Thursday, from, from so they delayed it off the Thursday. It was supposed to be Friday, off the Friday and then to Tuesday. And, you know, he, he, he he's dead now. I, I, I don't know if we have some case or something. It, 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 is there any, it, I don't know if there's any case at all. I don't know if there's any case at all that we can, that the nurses were not paying that much attention to him. My mother even said a lot of times that like, she would always visit and she would be doing like almost like a better job than the nurses on monitoring him and taking care of him a lot of times because she visited a lot. I don't know right now, what are the plans for the body? We don't know if we want to bury him or to, what do you call it, to cremate for the ashes. On either way, we need funding for that. So this is going to be like at least a couple of days and we're going to try to find out. I'll, I'll try to set up eventually some GoFundMe for that because I think he deserves proper respect. And I want to try to see if we're able to do it. Because right now, you know, with how the channel is and everything, because I also have to continue on my college education. I don't know if we have the necessary funds to support the home, to do the education, and, and the costs for that. He's helped me 
for over 10 years. So uh, for the channel in specific, over, or over 10 years. And he helped teach me so much and I was able to learn to become so independent with the videos. You know, he helped so much with the, the, the recording, the live, everything. And he taught me so many things and it's just, I, I don't know. And I want to continue to still do this channel because the channel is the only thing that can distract me right now. It's the only thing that's like not keeping me from having all these panic attacks or getting really depressed. And it's, it was always our dream to keep doing the channel. It was always going to be the plan, me and him together, to keep on going, to keep trying to grow. That was just our dream. That's what we wanted to keep on doing. That's why I keep on doing Beyblade. When people kept asking us, why do we keep on doing it? Because I love doing it with my father and I love to keep on doing it. And I want to I want to respect also what he wanted too. And just for us to keep on going strong. And to try to keep our best. <sighs> for other stuff to also mention. Obviously, there's the importance of our store, motlogbase.com, which is now going to be very important to financially support us. If there are any orders or any orders in the future, I will try my best to maintain and to do prices and try to calculate all of that. I don't know how long we'll keep it up. Uh, I'll try. So far from the time that he was not here with us we were able to do our best to manage all the orders properly i don't know if we have to close down the store eventually either i don't i don't know when i want to, to continue to do videos i i need time and i've been doing daily for so long too It's, if you ever have a loved one, I just want to tell everyone, just always make sure you always tell them that you love when you care about them. <laughs> if there's any fights or anything, just to drop it. Because even if there was ever a time me and my father argued, I'd always dropped it because I always knew that he was right and I always listened to him. Just, life, life could just be too unexpected, man. I want him to know that I love him so much. I have to read what I wrote properly because otherwise I'm not going to be able to read the, the words that I wrote. I want to thank him for everything because he was a good friend to me. He was a very good teacher and a loving father. I'm thankful for all that he taught me and that he was there for my lowest moments when I had to deal with so much anxiety and my highest moments when I was able to graduate. I hope he can rest easy. I hope he can rest easy. And I love him. That's, that's it. Alrighty. I'm gonna have to probably try to raise the audio because I don't know how quiet I was talking. Goodbye for now, everyone. I don't know when I'm going to upload again. I need to take care of my mother to make sure that she's okay. <sighs>